Hi my friend, this is Sissy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's Pick a Car, we're going to talk about what people think of you. How do people see you? We talk about people's first impression of you in the previous video. So this is an extension of that. Now we're going to talk about what people think of you. And these people are people who are in your life. They've been around for a while. And it's not just the first impression. Although that first impression video is quite interesting. I feel like a lot of things that came out was like, hmm, this is more the first impression. But anyway, <laughs> today you have three piles to choose from, just like we always do. And they are represented by the star cards from my favorite three decks. Pile one will be the star from the Light Shear Tarot deck. Pile 2 would be the star card from the Ethereal Vision Illuminated Tarot deck. Pile 3 will be the star from the Muse Tarot deck. Now how it works is that you're going to look at the three cards and see which card jump out to you. If none of these cards jump out to you, then just think of number 1, 2, 3 and see which numbers speak to you. And that will be your pile. And then you will be scrolling down to the description box, click on the timestamp that's related to your pile. And I will see you at your reading. Hi, Pile One. If you pick the star card from the Light Shear Tarot deck, this is your reading. A disclaimer to my video, everything is for entertainment purpose only, even though I do trust the energies and my cards. It's just that don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm telling you what I see in the cards. Okay, so when I ask the sacred animal oracle deck to describe your energy, I get number 63, the voucher spirit. Nothing is wasted. And I also get number 40, mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. From both cards, I see that you are extremely good at pay attention to details. Maybe you're a detective, an inspector, you can be an auditor. You're really good at finding small clues and piece them together. And that's your strengths. As if people feel like they can't hide much from you because you have good memory, you're extremely observant, and you're very intelligent. You're very sharp. You can be in charge of a important event and you can go home and cook dinner. You're just a jack of all trades and you're extremely resourceful. Nothing is wasted with you. Even the harshest experience you've had, you've learned from those experiences and you grow and you evolved. That's good for you, by one. You're not afraid of holding your information and wait for the right opportunity to make a big impact and make your enemy know your power. Yeah, I think people want to be on your good side because you have that power within you. And then from the wisdom of the Oracle deck, you get number three, between worlds, and number 47, go the distance. From these cards, I see that your friends, family, coworkers think that you are in between stages. You're going through a transition in your life, possibly a big life-changing event or a spiritual awakening. And you are going to a brighter, happier place. And you are in that process of evolving yourself. Also, I see that people think nothing stops you. You're very persistent. You have the strength, you have the power, you have the speed to achieve your goal. I feel a lot of energy from work. I think you progress your career very quickly and get noticed by your coworkers, clients, and supervisors. You build a reputation for yourself, especially if you're in a field that requires you to pay attention to detail. You, you progress very quickly because you're that good. And then from the astrology card, I got Mars action. It says desire, impulses, courage, force, heat, strength, competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, impatience, anger, leadership, engine, potency, willpower, motor, sex drive. 
you have very strong sex drive and you you have very muscular energy you are the man when you walk into the room even if you're a woman i think you have that confidence within you that people notice that you show up with authority some people may think that you are a little aggressive but you just know your goal and you want to achieve it and i think you will do well really in the corporate world because in the corporate world, they need a lot of masculine energy. They need you to go after goals. And you are the kind of person that you will hit your target. You will meet that forecast or budget. And there are a lot of fire in your energy. Like you're exciting. You are just never ending of actions. And then we get the cancer card. It says feeling sympathetic comforting protective intuitive birthing tender caring moody receptive lunar sentimental introvert defensive family oriented i think you take your family matter quite seriously your family is very important to you and you are a very nurtured person you can be protective of your family like if someone cross you or hurt your family they're gonna get a piece of you but to the people that you care about, you take care of them very much. So materially, spiritually, and mentally. And then you get a fifth house, passion. It says performance, entertainment, creativity, costume, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, disco ball. The fifth house is related to Leo. It just showed me that you're a really fun person to be around. You kind of demand attention when you walk into a room and it's expected from you that people noticing you. You're fun to be around and you work hard and play harder. It's so much spice in your life. And then you get complicity. This card says irritated, puzzles mystifies, complicates, contradicts, clashes, misses the mark, requires translation, adjusts, makes curious, educates, transform. You might make people confused about your intention and who you truly are from time to time because you're a multifaceted person. At work, you're very focused you are very efficient at what you're doing and after work you're just so much fun and through tender to your family and throughout you have this muscular energy this leadership energy that impact all area of your life people do respect you and i think they have a little fear of you as well just because you possess a lot of power. I don't know if you know this or not, and people can tell. In terms of the Sacred Destiny deck, we get relaxation and potentials. From these cards, I see that your friends, family think that you need to take a break from time to time. Maybe you work really hard. Maybe there are a lot going on in your life, just one thing after another. They kind of want to tell you to take a break from time to time and relax. Maybe read a book, rewind yourself. Because when you take break, let your body and mind relax, then you can give the best version of yourself to yourself and everyone else. Your friends and family and circle of people in your life, they want you to take care of yourself first and foremost. They want you to know that loving yourself is more important than anything. We're going to take more tarot card later, but I have a feeling that some of these impressions that people have on you are your facade. You are protecting yourself from the world because inside you have insecurity and you want to be cuddled and loved and nurtured but maybe you have been required to face the world yourself for a very long time. If you are successful or you now have a comfortable life, possibly you created everything from ground zero by yourself. And over the year, you build up that 
protective shield, protect the softness of your heart because the world is cruel. And people see that in you, that you are protective of yourself and your and you, your immediate circle. And people think there are a lot of potential in you. Not only that, I think, so this card is like a volcano at night under the star. You know, volcano can have a lot of inner pressure within itself. Make me feel like people see you as someone that experiencing a lot of pressure and you internalize it. You might be seeing therapist, but that therapist is not effective enough. If you ask me, I will tell you to look into alternative healings. There are a lot of plant medicine that can help you accelerating your healing process. I have a feeling that you are undergoing a lot of pressure and you gave yourself a lot of pressure and there's no way to let them out right now because this is at night and you're suppressing yourself. You are suppressing the inner happiness, the joy that you deserve because of your circumstance. You are under pressure. You are working on yourself every day, looking for your happiness and joy. And you have the power, you have the ability and skill to achieve it. But something going on in your life, I see that your friends and family feel like you're under a lot of pressure and you are not living your authentic self 100%. Sorry to say that, but that's really how I feel. Now I'm gonna ask the light sheer tarot deck describe how people think of you your immediate circle how do you see power one power one's immediate circle how do you see power one all right ace of wands knights of pentacles two of wands okay i want more cards power one's immediate family and friends what do you see how do you see power one? Wow. You have a lot of source cards. That's air energy. And oh, you get a star. Okay. Okay, let me show you the cards you get. Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords reversed. And you get Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands and the Star. You're very intellectual. There's a lot going on in your head, nonstop. Even when you're asleep and you're thinking of things, you might wake up in the middle of the night, pay attention to your immediate thought after you wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning and write them down and see if there's a pattern. What are you thinking about most? Because I think the first thought you have when you're waking up, that's what you're thinking or what's in your head when you're sleeping. Notice the pattern. There's just so much going on. That's why I think your friends and family know this. That you're always thinking of things. That's why they want you to take some time to take care of yourself. Actually, getting a massage can be really helpful because our body keeps the score. And when you're under a lot of stress, your muscle, your tendon, they all are tensed up. But through massage, they can relax you. You know, in my culture, in the Chinese culture, we get massage quite regularly. And when I was reading some books, I think it's the book, The Body Keep the Score, it did talk about the body remembers the tense feelings. And through massage or other therapy, you can relax your muscle. Once your muscles is relaxed, your mind become quieter too. Like so many times when I'm having massage, I fall asleep. Or I just calm down. At the beginning, I'd be like, oh, he should have do it harder. But then eventually I relax and fall asleep. I was like, oh, that was just the right approach. Pressure, you know. Yeah, there are a lot of thoughts going on in your head. That's what people notice about you. You are exhausted. There's something going on in your life that causes you to lose sleep at night. 
he's doing this right by an invisible bed and there's a pillow on the ground. Yeah, people see that you're going through a period of time. I think you are working on letting go of something or remorse something, like as if you're losing something. It's sad. You are sad and you are still trying to put yourself together when you go out to the world. And then you have Queen of Swords reversed. I feel like you know the truth about a lot of things. Um, whether it's the 3D truth or spirituality, you're very intuitive. But you don't always speak your truth. Like I said earlier, even from the Oracle card, I feel like you are not living your most authentic life. And you're trying to figure out how to do that. You're trying to figure out how I can be myself while still providing for my family and hold my life together. And then people see you as very independent. You're very, very capable, especially in the 3D sense. You have a stable job. You are very skilled at what you do. You can be the expert in your field. And people respect you for that. People also see that you have aspiration in life. You like to travel maybe, and you want to travel somewhere, either taking a van and just go on a road trip or fly to a foreign country. I don't know why I'm thinking of Australia. It's, <laughs> I think it's time for you to take a trip maybe. Maybe that will help you relax and rewind yourself and go see the world get out of the daily life you feel so restricted you need freedom i think your inner child want you to go out to explore everybody know that you can take care of yourself and you're very capable financially on the 3d matter but this whole reading makes me feel like it's time for you to really understand what self-love means and take care of yourself emotionally, physically, and mentally. I, I think from this reading, it's more about mental energy. If I could assign an order of our progression is you take care of your body, that's the fundamental. Without a body, without a fossil, without this tool, we are not human. <laughs> we cannot do anything. That's why people say health comes before wealth. You are very healthy though, I feel like, physically. Now you are working on sorting out, organizing your thought. And then the next step will be you leading onto your spiritual path. That's how I feel where you are. This is my opinion of you. I don't know how, if that's how your friends and family feel about you. Anyway, your friends and family do think that you have a lot of you hold a lot of hope and you tell people, I want to do this, I want to do that. This is the kind of life I'm looking forward to. This is the life partner I want. If you want kids, you, you talk about all these things with your friends and family and people know that you have a lot of hope and you plan. Yeah, now I'm looking at these three cards, Nice of Pentacle, Independence, Financially Stable, Two of Wands, she's planning something and then the star. Like she's planning to become the star. The star is full of hope that's connected to the divine, that's a part of the spiritual community that is embracing self-love and self-care and that's happy. Spirit, tell me why is Paul one under so much stress? Why is Paul one under so much mental stress? What area of their life giving them so much mental stress? Temperance, and you have the chariot reverse. I think in the past, you've been at a situation for a while that have no progression. You want to achieve a goal, but for some reason, you are not able to have your manifestation come true, and it's I think it's due to outside force because with the gold, the distance card, I see that you, 
you can make anything happen. If it's just on you, you're very, very capable. From the Afro Tarot deck, I got 10 of cups and two of one. Again, two of one again, because you get a two of one earlier telling me that you're planning for something. I think from this card, I see that what you really want is a harmonious family. You want to be able to spend time with your parents, with your family, who you grow up with. You have so much love and you want your own family too and spend time with your kids and animals. You don't ask for much as if nothing matter if you don't have this family this picture of the ideal family that you want like maybe that's what keep you awake at night maybe you are not having that and that's why you're sad because you are a very nurturing person yeah i think this is what you want and this is what people see everything you do everything you have done is that you want to build a family you want to be happy with your family and you want to build this future with someone that you feel dear and loved. You want to do it with a partner. You don't want just to go travel the world by yourself. You are ready to invite someone you love and go see the world with that person. And maybe you have already seen a lot of the world. You have a lot of life experience and you want to share that experience with your family and with your loved ones. And that's what people think of you. Okay, power one, this is all I have. I hope it makes sense. Leave me a comment. If you enjoy this reading, leave me a number five. So I know that you stay until the end of the video. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. If you pick the star card from the Ethereal Vision Illuminated Tarot deck, this is your reading. Like I explained to Pile 1, my readings are for entertainment purpose. Although I do trust my cards and my intuition, just please don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm gonna tell you what I see from the cards and we will go from there. How it worked this time is I'm going to tell you all the oracle cards I pick and then I'm going to shuffle live for some tarot cards and it will give us more detail of how your friends and family and your immediate circle or people that's in your life see you. Maybe your coworkers too. Okay, so when I ask the sacred animal oracle deck to describe your energy, they tell me that your friends and family see you as the koi fish spirit, number 36, maybe you're 36 years old. Also, they see you as number five, the bat spirit. It says, a rebirth is assured. From the koi fish spirit card, it says there is always enough. I see that people see you as very abundant. You may come from a established household that your family provide you with comfortable living and lavish life, or you are self-made. Either way, people see you as very abundant, as materially abundant, and you live a very comfortable and beautiful life. They see you as beautiful. This card alone makes me feel like your energy is very pleasant to be with. With your present, people feel a sense of peace and calm, and you help people to see the beauty of life. And then from the bad spirit, a rebirth is assured. I see that people see you going through difficult times, that you're still in the darkness of this experience, yet they trust that you will come out victory. Because when I think of bats, they live in the caves. They like to stay upside down like a hand at night when they sleep. They might see you as you are restoring your energy because you've gone through some darkness in your life. But you have made transformations in your life and you continue to work on yourself and you have a lot of resources because of the koi fish spirit. So in Chinese culture, which I'm Chinese, 
koi fish are usually in temples, in Buddha's temples, in the pond, and they represent abundance. And then bad spirit in Chinese is called fu. Bian fu is how we say bad. And then fortune is also fu. So bad is a representation of good luck. To me, when I first draw this card, I'm like, are you Chinese? Are you Asian? <laughs> are you East Asian? People see you as materially abundant and you're very lucky. And then from the Wisdom of Oracle deck, we got number 38, To Be Fair. And number 10, Unfinished Symphony. So from To Be Fair, I see that people see you as that you are able to juggle multiple tests and it seems like people are fascinated by your life it seems like you're doing fun stuff you're working hard your career is going well and maybe you are a parent and you hang out with your kids really well and you take your kids to all kinds of activities and then you work out yourself it just you're a multi-faceted person and you're doing a lot of things and you're able to find the balance from all the things that you're doing you present to the world a way that people think you are very balanced. And on the scale, there's a fortune cookie and an egg. Maybe it's a golden goose egg. And this woman is wearing a beautiful white gown with an owl on top. It make me feel like people think you are connected to the divine. You have a lot of wisdom in you. You are capable of juggling multiple things. You're very lucky. You're well-dressed. If you have an Instagram account, people love to look at your picture because you always present yourself in a way that's well put together. You have perfect the balance of life. And then with the unfinished symphony card, if you're recently in a relationship or you're in the middle of the project, people think they're not done with you. <laughs> they want to continue to work with you, want to talk things out. People see that music is very important to you it is an important part of your life possibly you, sp you play piano or some instruments and you sing you like music you are a trickster oh you can play violin too because this woman is holding a violin on the car people see that singing dancing being the flow is an important part in your life and they want to talk to you whether it's for work or for relationship. Yeah, I don't know. Did you cut off someone recently? <laughs> they, they want to come back. That's how I feel. And then from the Australian card, you get Aquarius, the innovator. On the card, it says POW. Experimental, rational, unique, liberal, electric, group-oriented, humanitarian, free, radical, eccentric, diverse, futuristic, utopian, idiosyncratic, disruptive, edgy, detached. Funny enough, you also get the Uranus car. This car says revolution. Uranus is the planet that rules Aquarius. So you have a lot of Aquarius energy in you. It doesn't mean that you have to have the placement on your chart but that's just people's impression of you on the Uranus card it says breakthrough brainstorming originality inside awakening technology innovation humanitarianism reform surprise freedom experimentation the unexpected edge diversity lightning yeah some of the words are similar to the Uranus card and then you also get a Taurus card. It says bombshell. Earthy, practical, steadfast, productive, fertile, tactile, ample, worthy, rip, pleasure seeking, sensuous, blooming, solid, possessive, tenacious, loyal, patient, deliberate. Long story short, I think people see you as a rebel. You do things unconventionally. You walk your own beat of drum. You don't care about what society say or do and what they expect you to be. You are at a point that you 
are yourself. You are the most authentic version of yourself. You know your self-worth and you present that way to the world. That's why some people may think you are radical. They think you are just out of the book because the book was written by someone else. It's not you. And you are willing to present yourself in the truest way possible. It can be irritated to some people because most people, <laughs> the majority of people in this world don't live their authentic self, but you are different and people see you as that. I find you inspirational. I wanted to know more about you. You make me very excited. And then with the Taurus card, Taurus is about luxury. So it really tied back to your koi fish spirit, that abundant spirit, and then that, the luck. Like people see you as lucky, unextraordinary, and yet practical, and I think the way you dress is very impressive. You might even know that if you purposely pick up your outfit for a specific occasion and you dress for that occasion. And maybe some people have told you that you impress me every time you come out. You always dress so appropriately. I love your purse. Like maybe on a daily basis, every time you go out, someone will say, oh, I love your shoes. I love your jacket. I love your hair. People love everything a little bit of everything of you every time you go out and people notice that about you and then from the sacred destiny deck you get solitude and adventures these cards seem to be contradicted to each other but i think that's why you're multifaceted. you are not afraid to spend time to yourself because you know that you need to nourish yourself and you do that when you're alone and that's why people think that you spend a lot of time in solitude, even though they didn't expect you to do that. Because when you go out, you present to the world as if you have everything you need. And you do have a lot of friends who admire you, love you. But to people's surprise, you spend a fair amount of time by yourself, whether you're reading, exercising, planning your life, enjoying a meal that you cook to yourself, People surprised by that side of you because nobody follow you 24 seven. So they cannot imagine a person like you that have everything. They have so many people want to hang out with, will spend this much time in solitude, but they know that you do because otherwise you couldn't come out the person that you are. You're so confident because you've done the inner work and you did it by yourself in solitude. And people notice that about you. And then your life is full of adventure. You might travel to the most beautiful places on the planet. If they follow your social media, like one day you're bungee jumping, another day you're diving in the Pacific Ocean. You're just doing fun things one after another and people are fascinated by you. Overall, from the Oracle card, I see that people see you as someone just so unique. You dress your own way, which is impressive. You dress appropriately and you dress fine clothes and you seem very abundant. You have everything you need and you're very lucky. But then people also know that you spend a lot of time on your own and your life is just so exciting and interesting. And a lot of people think, if they ever came past with you, they want to almost hold on to you and your energy because they've never met someone like you before and they may even have said that to you. They say that some people are in your life for a few days, weeks, season, year. Some people are there for a lifetime. But you notice that everybody almost, even they're supposed to just walk by on the street, may ask you, can I have your phone number? Can we grab a drink? There's something about you catch people's eyes and they are so fascinated about you. What do people think about Pal 2? Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to explain. Okay. 
How do did I say at some point in the reading that you might be really good looking? If there was only one card in the Oracle, made me think that way. But then with Tarot, you get the Empress. Let me show you your card first. You get King of Pentacles, King of Cups, reversed. Page of Wands, Two of Wands reversed and then you get four of pentacles and the hangman so what i think is people are very attracted by you just the way you look the way you act you gave off this elegant vibe and a little bit mysterious that people want to get to know you you have this nurturing and feminine side and yet you're balanced with your energy, so you also possess the energy of a king. And you have king of pentacles upright and king of cups reversed. When I see the king of pentacles upright, it made me feel like for sure people think you're very abundant. You're financially secure. You know what you're doing and you manage your finance very, very well. Either you're in that profession or you're just really well read. You understand how the market works. You understand different type of financial products, real estate. People know that you have your shit together and this is like solid shit. <laughs> solid shit. Like no one can take away your asset because you are the queen. You are the king of your assets. And then with the King of Cups come out reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse, actually, I see that people see you as protective of your emotions. You have a lot of emotions. You know what you want. You are confident, yet you are very protective of your emotions and your attention. You are not going around and just give everyone your energy. That tie back to the Solitude card. They see that you spend time with yourself to nurture yourself. And you take your self-worth, self-love very seriously. And people see that you're very intelligent. You have a lot of creativities. You take on new projects all the time. And you are not the type of person that you will just go right away. When you want to do a new project, you do your research, you contemplate, you assess the pros and cons, you see if you need additional help, you ask for help, you take courses to improve your knowledge and ideas. If you say you are working on something, people wouldn't expect you to do it. Like This thing come out right away because they know that whatever you put your heart and soul into is going to be something significant. It's going to take time and you are willing to take the time and effort to do it. With the Four of Pentacles reversed, I see that people see you as protective to your asset and sometimes reserved. Not like monetarily reserved, but just, just overall your mental, physical, emotional power, you're protected of yourself. I think you've gone through something that led you this way. And also maybe because you just have so much that you don't want people to know like how much money you have how many cars you own it's just none of their business because that's not who you are those are just your possession or those are assets passed down from your family but internally you're just this nurturing loving person that's secured you are so wise and so abundant and so beautiful oh my god you are the queen <laughs> In, or you are the king. Wow. And then with the high man, I feel like people think sometimes you're hard to get hold to because you do spend time on your own and then you go on crazy adventures. So people in your hometown or the new people came cross paths with you, they want to hang out with you, but they're like, I don't know if Paul to have time or they're interested. I feel like you are not the most expressive person in terms of verbally explaining your emotions and what your thought of people is. 
Maybe you grow up in a way that you are reserved because you are required to be always poised, always show up at the best version of yourself. Like you pay a lot of attention on how you present to the world to the point that now you have your unique style and people notice that. You seem like you're a little bit so up there. It can be hard for common people to approach you. Like you can say a few things you've done in your life, and people will be like, "What? How is that possible? Like, how old are you? I've never met anyone like you." And then you make them doubt themselves. You may find a lot of people triggered by you. They will tell you that you. The things, or you make them feel certain way that they don't want to hang out with you anymore, and you literally did not do anything. You were just being yourself. You bring out the insecurity in people just because of the things that you do, because how you present to the world, because what you do to the world. You travel to the most exotic places. You do really exciting things with your life. I think some people are jealous of you. <laughs> Let's just say that they're jealous. Spirit, what else people think of Kyle two and especially their past? I'm using the before tarot deck. Oh my god! People think that you don't want conflicts. You get the seven of swords, but this is the before tarot deck. This card, the guy was like kind of praying or bowing to the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands are people who are trying to take his victory away from him, but he negotiated. He wanted to compromise and come to peace with people. And you get Six of Swords. People see that you might have left your hometown. To live where you are right now, and almost feel like a refugee feeling. You left your hometown in a rush. Something was happening, and you had to take your child with you. You don't want conflicts. People can see that. You rather be in harmony with everyone. What do people think of your future? How do people see how to? Spiritual people see you. I think people, it's not from the tarot, it just show up here. I think people think you are going to be very, very successful. And they, I don't know if all of them are ruling for you, but they feel like it's undeniably that you will be successful just because who you are. You're very, very confident of your own power. You are a magician, or you're a witch, you're a warlock, you have magic. Like you think of something, you say something, it's gonna become true. You tell people that you've done that before, over and over again. You're just so powerful. I feel like a lot of people want a piece of your energy. People want you to be happy. With the sun card, they want you to find the love of your life. They know that that's what you want, and. With the Herman cards, they know that you're continually working on your spirituality. That's a very important aspect of your life. You are very connected to the divine, and you might be journaling, channeling, and you're ready for the best time of your life to come. It will fill with sunshine and joy. It will fill with the love of your life. I think a new relationship is coming your way, how to, and people see that. I think people see you and they have a hard time understanding why you are not with your significant other because they see you as someone that's so desirable. But a lot of people may feel like you're too good for them, and that's why. But someone is coming for you. You only need one person. You only need one person in the entire universe, and this person is coming. And you guys are gonna hang out like little kids, possibly running in the sun naked. Who knows? People think really, really good things are gonna happen to your life, and they think it's just a matter of time that you will claim the success. You have been successful before because before the seven of one, it was the six of one. That is public recognition. You've already done that. What an extraordinary life 
What an extraordinary life. You're a very impressed person. I would like to know your life story. Leave me an emoji of a rose pile two to tell me that you stay until the end of the video and do share about your personal experience. I want to know because this is very fascinating. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Hi pile three. If you pick the star card from the news tarot deck, this is your reading. Disclaimer, all my readings are for entertainment purpose only. Even though I use my intuition, I trust my cards 100%. Don't shoot the messenger is what I'm trying to say. So how three. When I consult the sacred animal oracle deck, I got number 34, hummingbird spirit, be here now. And number 64, wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. What I see from this card is that, first of all, with the hummingbird spirit, I see that you can find a stillness in a chaotic environment and you're very resourceful. People think that you have everything you need around you. You don't need to go very far. Sometimes people even get jealous of the resources you have. They don't realize that you put in the work too. People perceive you as very, very lucky to an extent that sometimes they think you don't deserve what you're getting. I see that people see you as very spontaneous you are being in the here and now sometimes they think you might be hard to reach because you don't always check your phone you don't always post on social media because you're so in the moment that you find some of those things destructive with the swap spirit sometimes love stinks it make me feel like maybe you are in a profession that sting people for example you might be a nurse you might be a doctor people might only go see you when they're in trouble that's why when they think of you if they think a lot sting because of your profession of what you do but also people see that you are very helpful and you are connected to spirit and then i move on to the wisdom of the oracle cards i get number 22 blast And then number 15, message in a bottle. From these two cards, I see that people think you're very, very lucky. Again, like you can just win lottery out of blue. Every time there is a raffle, you probably win some of the biggest prize. Maybe you go out and you are invited to a club. You don't have to stand in line. You don't have to pay the cover. You're just so lucky and you get offers like really substantial offers from people and some of these people around you are jealous of you and then with the message in the bottle i see that people like to communicate with you you are fun when they talk to you it seems like the information you gave out can be either very knowledgeable very useful or people even feel like they're talking to like spirit or divine because you get these channel messengers. You might be a clairvoyant. You may have spiritual abilities that you may or may not aware of. And then with the astrology card, I got Virgo. This is the alchemist, methodical, aligned, ritualistic, efficient, insightful, healthy, dutiful, discerning, witchy, subtle, Pure, refined, accurate, solitary, critical, nervous, perfectionist. People see you as a very healthy person. They think that you work out, you take care of your body, you're always clean cut, and you take care of your skin. People think that you are very organized. The world will be a chaos without Virgo. You may like to set up rules and you like to organize your space is very clean if people go to your home they usually comment how clean and organized you are you can appear as a professional so you have very high standard of yourself 
even to the people around you. Sometimes people feel pressured from just to keep up with your standard. You may not verbally say anything, but people do feel like to be in your circle, to be thought after by you, they have to retain certain standard. And then you get the fourth house roots. The fourth house is about family, home, background, comfort, cooking, inner world, real estate, shelter, self-care, rejuvenation, habits, and shell. It shows me that home life is very important to you. Your relationship with your family, with your kids, with your parents, with your spouse or life partner is very, very important to you. And your home is very comfortable and it's a place for you to relax and you hold home sacred. And then you get Sagittarius. It says the Voyager. Enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, adventurous, honest, bareback, unburdly, experimental, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, self-righteousness. You like to travel and you are into philosophy you get really excited when people talk about technology, innovation, philosophy. You are a fun person to be around. And again, you're very, very lucky. You're adventurous, honest, you're free. You take risk. Because of those life experiences that you've had, which can be described as extraordinary, people do think that you are very confident and you have your set of opinion of things and how this world work. And there was the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. I got fulfillment and openness. With the fulfillment card, I see that people see you as you are content with yourself. You're delicious and juicy. I don't know where this is coming from, but it's a peach. Um, tasty. Oh, I love peach. Um, yeah, people feel like you've done a lot of things in your life and you're happy with the result. And a lot of people perceive it as you have achieved a lot of fulfillment, that your life is where it should be. And it, from the outside, it look perfect. With the openness, similar to the Sagittarius, you are open to new experience. You are open to other people's opinion, although maybe that people think you can be more open to objections and they want you to keep an open heart because not everyone is like you. You are very unique and there are a lot of people want to be in your life, but it is not easy just because you have your way of being. Sometimes people feel they don't want to come out too aggressive with you and they don't want to not approach you at all because I can see that a lot of people are, are attracted to your energy and they want to be friend with you. They want to date you. They want to get to know you more. Now I'm gonna take the Muse tarot deck and see what tarot have to say about what people think of you. Pile three. What do people think of pile three? Two of voice, that's two of swords. You get the Muse of material. Three of inspiration, page of material. Oh, so Muse of material is not a page of material. What else is there? I need to check that book to see what is this Muse of material. Four of inspirations, four of one. Okay, I'm gonna keep these cards and then get my guidebook ready. You get two of voices. Muse of material, page of material. Page of material came out reversed. And the ace of emotion came out reversed. That's ace of cup. Three of inspirations. And four of inspirations, that's the ones. You get three of ones and four of ones. Two of swords, ace of cups, reverse page of 
pentacle reverse and then the muse let me read this muse of material first because i'm not sure what it is it's not page it's not night oh oh muse of material is king of materials wow muse of materials keywords abundance earth energy life material success the journey of creating prosperity being able to provide for those you love the joy of a life well lived grounding into the earth gratitude comfort wealth health happiness in the garden of life she finds herself at a door above it sits the muse of materials reflects in all of nature she whispers from the flowers the grass the tree she flitters among the birds and babbles in the creeks this muse uses all the material of the earth to bring her world into form she looks down and offers a lesson of manifesting in abundance sweet creator these things are yours for the taking and the using, the fusing and the gentle forming. Your harvest, little sprout, arises from the earth. So ground into her low humming energy and breathe in her humidity and warmth. It's time to take another small step towards the gardens of life and commit to watering, killing, dancing, and loving as much as you can. Material success and joys are arriving. Seek the grounding energy of earthly delights and know that your own fertile lands are blooming now. The spell is so matched with me in this nest of wealth, a plentiful snack nutrition. Absorb this magic, this garden of health, walk the way towards certain fusion. I think people think that you are mysterious. They have a glimpse of your life, but not the whole picture. And when you show your life to people, they see that you are abundant. You live a luxury lifestyle and you're surrounded by flowers, birds, beautiful natures and architectures. And sometimes you do show people that you're going through struggles. You have a lot of decisions to make and it creates stress. People also see that you have your soul tribe, that you hang out with your soul families. Usually four of inspiration, four of wands, is about twin flames, it's about a happy union, but in this muse deck, it is four sisters sitting together. So you do have a tribe. If you're a woman, you have soul sisters that you guys meditate and do personal development work together. In this picture, these four women are meditating. There's a light coming out from their crown chakra. That's how people see you, that you have your tribe and you do a lot of personal and spiritual work. I think you are not in a relationship or if you are, it doesn't take much of your life. People may see you as having a not fulfilled emotional life because the ace of emotion came out reversed. They may feel like either you are working on yourself or you still have things that you have to work out on your own in terms of romantic lives. They see that you have inspiration, you want to travel and you like to plan your trips. They also see your frustration. Maybe you are already in an abundant stage and you're not currently working on any projects. You're taking a break from working and you are spending a lot of time doing spiritual works and planning how you want to go about your life going forward. Because you might be healing a breakup right now. Like you're still working out the releasing remorse of that relationship. Because I see that you had frustrations, even though your life is absolutely abundant. So now let's see. What else people see about Pile 3? I'm using the before tarot deck. Tell us more about Pile 3. Okay, I feel like this card will come out. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, people see that before you've worked on a project steadily and you have established something and you have Knight of Cups. 
This is the before tarot deck and this guy is filling some liquid into the cups and there are little kids behind the table looking at it. You may have a family, you are surrounded by kids, you have your emotional fulfillment. Yeah, you definitely have some sort of significant relationship before, but now either you break up, you get a divorce, you're in separation, and you are isolating yourself in terms of the relationship wrong. Like you're not spending time dating people. What else can we know about pile three? How do people see pile three? I'm using the after tarot deck now to see what people see about pile three. You got knight of sword reversed and you got the lover reversed. I think if there was one area in your life that bring your nightmare, it will be relationships. You're doing your shadow work and you are fighting against the demon that make you lose sleep at night. And this is not a quick fix. People see that you're working on it. And people see that you want to be in a committed relationship. You want to find the one you want to find a love partner in your life and they believe you will. It's a matter of time. The right person will appear and people are ruling for you. They all want you to find the person and settle down because that's what you want. The people around you are very supportive of you. They love you and they appreciate you. They see that you've gone through struggles. You have your own way of living some people may say that they wish they have your life you seem to be very very lucky some people may discredit you for all your accomplishment and fulfillment just because they think how three must be really really lucky that he or she were able to achieve everything that they did but in reality they just don't know your full story who you truly are which i'm gonna talk about in my next video but here i want to mention that You have a good life, at least in the material realm. You appreciate your life, but that does not mean that you don't have the regular human emotions and everything is perfect. You understand that they're up and down in life despite how much money or how much material possession that you have, which is true. And I hope that you can continue invest your time and energy with your soul tribe. I can see that they help you to see yourself better, to connect with your inner self more. And that's where you find your joy and happiness and further your fulfillment. Because you've achieved things in the material realm. Now you are working on your spirituality development. You know that we are all connected to the divine and the creator is inside of every single one of us. There's still some emotional release that you need to do. And I see that you are aware of that and you are doing that. People see you as before you spend a lot of effort and time in building your stability to building your Career. I was wrapping up your video and my camera got caught up. So you see it's dark outside. I'm just redoing the very last part where I'm explaining what I see of your energy, where people think that you put a lot of effort before into your career, building your empire, building your resume. And you even have fruits, you have nine of cups, you have enough to share and you were abundant and generous. You're not stingy. And now people see that you still are combating or fighting some darkness, but at least you're not laying there and contemplating or being sad. You hold the sword and find the monsters yourself whatever that is keeping you up at night 
and people see that you value relationship a lot you might be actively looking for the love of your life you are manifesting your life partner and that's what people see you so part four thank you for staying until the end if you are still here leave me an emoji with four let me know that you stay until the end of the video thank you so much Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye.